Hey, it's me and Spike, and today I'm going to show you how to make some no sew window screen. So stand by. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple window screen for the RV. It fits in my coach from beyond with the factory Ford tip out windows. But it would work in other RVs too that have a window that tips out. Either like an awning style or the big awning style where you have a perimeter inside that you can put Velcro. So all, all you need to, to do, all you need to make this is some window screen. This is like really tight screen to keep the little bugs out some duct tape, and some stick-on Velcro. And this is the hook part. I have the loop parts, it's in the van right now because this is actually my third window uh, screen that I'm making. I've already got two of them made and this is my third and last one. So I took a measurement of the window frame from the outside of the, the, the molding itself, the frame, not the opening of the window, but the frame is, is about so wide inside. And this is the width from here to here and from here to here. That's the, the width of the frame. So I'm just gonna lay out this window screen I got here. And I'll put some links to this screen in, uh, in the description of the video. And you can see um, there's just, you could do it and you could probably have enough to do four windows because the window frame was um, 20 and a half inches wide and this is 84 inches wide so if you had a, a coach from beyond of a rear bath you could probably use the same roll here and get four screens out of it. so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this along this line I made. Yeah, just just barely enough to make a fourth window. Uh, I'll figure out what to do with that later. Okay, so now I got that cut out like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some duct tape. This is Gorilla Black Black Gorilla duct tape. It's kind of hard to work with by yourself because it's so sticky. And every time you touch it, it sticks. But since the roll's got plenty in it, I'm gonna try something different on this window. This screen. Every time you touch it, it sticks. Ta-da, look at that. Okay. That was actually better than it was the last time I tried doing that. Uh, so now we're going to put that on just like that. I'll leave a little edge and I'll fold this edge over and that will just kind of like do a binding on the screen. Okay, so I've got that folded over. Now I just want to trim this little edge off. Move 
show you that 180 degrees. I'll do the same thing here. The black duct tape is nice because it kind of gives it a finished edge and it's no sewing required. It stiffens it up a little bit and it blends into the frame good being black. So all in all, it's a pretty good product for this particular application that I'm doing. Okay, while I was off the camera, what I did was I laid a piece of tape down and I folded a little lip over it and sealed it down. And then I took another piece of duct tape, the, the, the right length, and I just tore it down the middle. I'll just, I just grabbed it like this divided it in about the middle and tore it and it tears real easy it's because it's cloth based so it tore right down the middle and I just laid that on the edge which made this one a little bit longer you know, it sealed that down so all the duct tape's done and it's a nice it gives it some nice rigidity to it so the next thing we're going to do is just cut some velcro to fit on here and this is the hook part because I, I mean, yeah, the hook part because I have the loops I'm using in the van. And this is real simple because it's just peel and stick. Real simple. I like simple. You know, it makes it just easier, not having to deal with a lot of issues, sewing and all that. I like three, three products too. You know, just tape, uh, you know, double stick tape, Velcro, screen, and duct tape. All easy to get. more time looking at bug screen than I did than it took to buy it <laughs> after I made my decision out which one to get and I'll just put this one inside the only thing about this stuff, it just really sticks, which is good, but boy, it makes it a little bit aggravating to work with. And the double, uh, you know, the stick on Velcro that I bought it's a big roll. I mean, that's how much I have left over because this is the fourth window. I mean the third window and I'm done. So plenty of extra Velcro for other projects I can come up with. There we go. We don't have screens on our windows here at home. Maybe you could make a um Window screen. I probably could. Okay, so there it is. And because of the way I put the, the Velcro on, the, the tape wide this side, you don't see the, the Velcro through it. The only other thing about this is that when I go to put it on, I'm going to have to notch it because the, the window in the van has got a curved corners. So on one end, I want to cut them to notch them. So we'll go out to the van now and we'll install these. So let's go outside. All right, so this is the window screen that fits on the passenger side and the new one on the driver's side is behind it. And you can see those notches are what I have to cut off. And I checked it. Um, the notches will work for the other side. It's the same window, it's just the other side. So I put the 
insides together, the outsides are out, and I'm just going to cut those corners off. So we'll do that real quick here. Spike, you going to help? By staying out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> He says, anything you need, Bill? He calls me Bill, because that's my middle name. It's easier than Gardner. Yeah, he has a hard time saying Gardner. Okay, so there's one cut. Yeah, he helps by staying away from sharp scissors. Yeah. He says, don't run with those, Bill. So, this window goes on this side. See how nice that is, the Velcro? You can just slap it up there. And on this window over here, I already went ahead and I put the, um, the, the hook part on the tape. It's hard to see, but I just ran a piece of tape across the bottom. I started here, came down to there, from here up, over to there, and then down this side. Nice little it's, notch there yeah, where it bumps out. Little notch because it, it, it pokes out here. So I cut that. So let's just see how it looks now. So I just got to stick it up there, put it on, and there it is. Wonderful. Window screen. Very nice. And uh, there is a little gap here where insects could come in. If you want to open the window, you just peel a corner off like that put it back on and then I'm gonna have to put a little I'll make a little roll of cloth or something and stick in here that, that it can even have some velcro on it so it'll just velcro to this and just and it'll fill that little gap up but other than that it's it's gonna stop probably a good uh, 90 6.3% of the bugs from coming in. There's always that determined bug, especially if you're like in Michigan or um, Gossam, those other places that have a lot of really bad bugs. But anyway, there it is. That's the window screen. It cost all together uh, $10 for the screen, I think $15 for the Velcro, and about $5 for a roll of duct tape. So, what, 30 bucks or so? Yeah, thirty dollars for window screens, and um, I have a lot of leftover Velcro. So other little products that need uh, stick on Velcro, like the curtains up here, because uh, Deb made these these curtains, and it just has double um, Velcro on it. We put some Velcro up here on the top, just double stick it on, and then all you gotta do is just put your curtain on like this. That's how we did the curtains. Pull that out. So the curtains are really simple. And they gotta go up. There we go. So that's my new window screen. If you got any questions, just uh, drop a, a comment below in the video. I'll leave some links on the material I used, the screen that I bought. And uh, if you have any other questions, like I said just leave in the comment. So thanks for watching. Take care and travel, see America. It's a wonderful place to go. Especially uh, right now, the roads are empty. Hey, but a lot of places are not open. But you can still go out and see the beauties of the national parks, uh, the ones that are open, uh, just the landscape and stuff. Maybe not going to a museum, but you can still see those sights. Thanks for watching. Bye.